this is when the narcissist finally gets their karma. One thing you need to remember is that their disorder does not allow them to be successful for long periods of time. It causes them to end up failing suddenly and dramatically. It causes them to break down and fall apart from within. Even if you put the narcissist in the perfect situation, they will find a way to mess it up. Because they don't learn from their mistakes. They don't adjust or adapt themselves to work better or make themselves more suitable. They often repeat the same issues that cause their loss of power and prosperity. They do the same thing again and again. But it may look like they've moved on. It may look like they're doing great with this new person. But they're a ticking time bomb. It's only a matter of time until they experience the effects of their actions. Because their disorder will only allow them to experience short-term success. If the narcissist you were with has been successful over a long period of time, then maybe you weren't dealing with a full-blown narcissist. Because that's the whole point. Narcissists are a problem to themselves and everyone that they are with. They bring disaster and turmoil to whoever they're around. And it soon comes back to get them. No matter how they portray it to be. Beneath the illusion there is a massacre. There is mass destruction. There is drama, chaos and disruption. But you won't always see it. Because you may not be there. And they're only going to show you what they want you to see. But if you were really dealing with a narcissist. You could be sure that whatever happened with you and them. They are going to repeat those same patterns again and again. And it's just never going to stop. So you can already predict their future. You should already know what's going to happen. Based upon how they've treated you. And it may not happen immediately. But in time the patterns of their behaviour will come back to haunt them. Because their behaviour produces certain results. And they are stuck in that mentality. They're stuck on repeat. They don't change. They don't adapt or adjust. They just keep doing what they've always done. Because they don't see that their actions are producing their results. They don't take accountability. They blame everyone else. It's never them. It's never their fault. There's always someone else to blame. Even if they do manage to change their behaviour, it will only be for a short period of time. And then they will go back to being reckless and careless. They will become depressed and they will be looking for sympathy. Until someone believes in their lies and illusions and decides to give them a chance. And then they bring the narcissist back to their self inflating self again where they feel like they are more impressive, successful and important than they really are. Where they make self inflating claims that are demonstrably untrue. And then that will go wrong. So then they have to hurry up and desperately find someone else to uplift them. Because what they're actually doing is they are running from their karma. They are trying to escape it. They're trying to escape the consequences of their own actions by using people to regulate their emotions. But everything they try to establish just ends up falling apart because they don't see the issues they're causing. Which is why they don't even try to correct it before it comes back to get them because they're so wrapped up in their own reality. They're so wrapped up in their own self-interest and needs 
so they don't even see the big picture. They don't see what is going on outside of their own situation, outside the point of their fixation. They only see what they are focused on, which is why they often end up struck by surprise. They never make a decision or take positive action. They never begin to live in a good and sensible way because they never try to correct the things that are harming them and the people around them. Which is why all they've got to show for their lives is a path of destruction from their past. But sometimes they will run into codependents who become their enablers. And these types of people will stick with them no matter what. No matter what they're going through. No matter what they've done. Which is why you may not see the narcissist experiencing the effects of their actions. Because their enabler is taking the fall for them. And they deliberately seek out these types of people. Because they already know that karma is coming for them. So they're looking for people to take the fall for them. They're looking for people to bail them out. And this person may not always be a relationship partner. It could be a family member or friend. But if they have this type of person in their lives, it may seem like they're doing okay because they have someone to depend on. They have someone to keep them out of difficulty. But narcissists are impolite and bad-mannered, so after some time they become annoying. People no longer want to deal with them. So even if they have found a codependent, eventually even that type of person will want to get rid of them. Because no one wants to deal with that. No one wants to be around it for long periods of time. And when they were younger they might have gotten away with it. But the older they get, the less patient people become. Until their lives end up in shambles. They experience all sorts of problems and setbacks. So many failures and disappointments. Until they finally end up alone. They end up on the streets when shared accommodation because they never try to correct the things that later become a problem for them in the future. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on our website, it's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.